Nvidia versus AMD. Today, I want to take a closer look at some recently announced benchmarks of some of the top AI accelerators. We're going to look at the H100, the H200, the B200, AMD's MI300, and some other interesting accelerators in the market like Google's TPU and some other startups. So this is going to be a great episode. Let's get started. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now let's continue with today's episode. All right, so today we're going to look at ML Commons benchmarks. And right, we have all these AI accelerator companies and all these AI companies saying, hey, look, we have the best accelerator out there, but how can we really get the results and get the final answer? And the best way is to kind of look at these industry benchmarks. Luckily, every few months we do get benchmarks from ML Commons. Some are benchmarks for inference. Other are benchmarks for trainings. The most recently updated that came out on August 28th of 2024 has to do with inference. And this is a market that AMD has actually been talking about a lot, saying that they have the better solution over NVIDIA's H100. On today's episode, we have a lot of that to cover, and we'll see if that's the right answer. And if this is your first time here, my name is Jose Naharo, master's in electrical engineering, semiconductor investor, and you're going to get a lot and a lot of great information in this channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, so we're going to start off with NVIDIA, and we can see from this recent blog that came out on August 28th, NVIDIA Blackwell sets new standards for generative AI and ML perf inference workloads so this is going to be like i mentioned the first submission using nvidia's blackwell gpu and it delivers over four times more performance on llama 270 billion parameter uh large language model over the nvidia h100 so this is pretty interesting 4x one of the main reasons and let's kind of just step back one of the main reasons the Blackwell is so much better than the Hopper platform is that Blackwell has pretty much two chips in one, right? So right off the bat, it has to be at least two times better in performance because in theory, you have two chips here. But we can see because of not only having two chips, but the technological improvements is also up to four times more performant than the H100. We also did see that the H200 was also in these benchmarks, and we're going to look at the results, had outstanding results on every benchmark in their overall data center market. Not only that, one thing that we're hearing a lot from NVIDIA is how strong software is and how strong software optimization is. The H100 and the H200 actually ran these benchmarks um, in their previous, uh, in, in the last time, but because there was improvements in the software development, the H200 actually saw up to 27% more generative AI inference performing over the previous round, underscoring the added value customers get over time from their investments in NVIDIA platforms. So this is NVIDIA saying, hey, look, yes, you're going to buy our products and our products are usually the best, the best when they come out on these benchmarks. But the most important thing is we're going to continue to improve them software optimization. We're going to improve libraries to make your hardware even better. So obviously our products are probably traded, sold at a premium of a cost, but that premium of a cost is going to make up for it in a lot of other solutions for you. But before we do that, I do want to say thank you all for the support. If you want to learn more and increase your knowledge about the semiconductor market, check out my ebook at moresemiinvesting.com. If you use coupon code YouTube, you're going to get $10 off. And here, this quarter two earnings book has over 40 semiconductor companies that just reported earnings. And you're going to get a lot of information like growth opportunity, market trends, bearish scenarios, and the list goes on and on. So make sure to check that out at moresemiinvesting.com. So here are some cool pictures from NVIDIA, and this is kind of taking a closer look at the MI300 for the Llama 70B results. Here, the MI300X 750W is on last place, followed by NVIDIA's H170 700W system, followed by NVIDIA's H200 700W system, and then NVIDIA's H200 1000W system is just blowing off the competition. The 1000W system, I believe it's liquid cool, and we can see that this is why a lot of people are moving on from NVIDIA's H100 700W to NVIDIA's H200 liquid cooling because it does seem like there is a nice performance jump here. 
Now, AMD did kind of showcase their strength and they mentioned that, hey, look, they compared their, their MI300X with NVIDIA's H100. And we can see in some scenarios, NVIDIA's H100 did better. In other scenarios, AMD's MI300 did better, but all were very similar in forms of number, maybe plus or minus some single digit percentage points. All right, so here are some of the benchmarks and I have a few pages here with different types of filters for the data, but pretty much you get the organization that's pr providing this benchmark. You're also seeing kind of the product name, the number of nodes, their processor, AKA their CPU, their accelerator, AKA the GPU, the number of accelerators, and more importantly, the token per seconds for that kind of benchmark. The more tokens you want per second, the better the results are. So for example, here for this inferencing of the Llama 270 billion parameter, number we're only going to be looking at units with one accelerator and here we have nvidia's b200 we have nvidia's h200 we even have the grace hopper 200 and more importantly we have the mi300x now these are all one accelerator systems and the one that beats all of them by crazy crazy numbers is NVIDIA with a score of roughly 11.3, um, 11,300 tokens per second. Next in line is the H200 with roughly 4,400. Next in line is NVIDIA's Grace Hopper 200 with about 4,000 tokens per second. Last on this list is actually gonna be AMD's MI300X with roughly 3,000 um, tokens per second. So we can see right off the bat, we're only looking at one accelerator. NVIDIA is, is, five, is far the leader with their B200, and the H200 is so much better than AMD's MI300. All right, next we're gonna look at a system with four accelerators. And one thing that I also want to remind investors or let investors know is there are a lot of different types of machine models that we're using, right? You can use GPT, you can use Llama, you can use Stable Diffusion and so many more. Usually NVIDIA covers all of these, but their competitors only choose one or the other where they tend to be a little bit better or have like their best results. For example, here, I wanted to take a closer look at Google's TPU unit, but unfortunately Google, their TPU is only showcasing results for the benchmarks of stable diffusion. So this again showcases how diversified and how adaptive or adaptable NVIDIA GPU solutions where you can kind of use NVIDIA solutions in any of these workloads, but when looking at competitors, they're selecting which type of workload they wanna showcase these benchmarks. So again, it showcases that strength of NVIDIA's GPU solutions. Now for here, the four accelerators, again, you have kind of the higher samples per second is more important. Here we only have the H100 and Google's TPU version six, which is not out yet. And Google's TPU 5E, which is kind of their energy efficient TPU 5 um, solution. Off the bat, NVIDIA's H100 is the best Oh, it is the best with roughly 8.3, but we can see Google's TPU is about 5.4. So NVIDIA solution is so much more faster than NVIDIA than Google's upcoming release of TPU. Uh, and this is the H100. So the H200 unfortunately didn't do this test, but the H200 would have done amazing here. And obviously the Blackwell hasn't done these tests and the Blackwell would have done even better here. So right off the bat, we can see that NVIDIA is demolishing here in the inference market, a market that AMD has mentioned that they are ones that they can lead dramatically or be a great alternative. And I wanna say for AMD investors, it's not necessarily bearish here. We can see that the MI300 is very competitive to NVIDIA's H100. But if you're looking at their bigger systems like the H200 or the Blackwell, the MI300 is not the unit to compete with them. But if you're looking for an alternative to the H100, and there's plenty of appetite for that market, AMD can definitely benefit. And I'm actually pretty excited to see the results, right? It definitely showcased how much better the B200 is, how stronger the H200 is. I actually was not expecting to see these types of growth with the H200 liquid cool versus kind of the H100. Again, I can now see why there would be a nice appetite for the H200 versus the H100 before the Black Wall series comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update. Let me know what are your thoughts. Check out my Substack. Check out my ebook. 
the list uh, the links are down below take care have a good day and see you all next time